Greetings and welcome to another edition of Community Forum. I'm glad that you can hang out with me and wanted to talk to you and follow up. Uh, it'll definitely be a three-part series, definitely three at least, on the issue of suicide. Suicide. I did a brief one and I said that I would go into it um, again further down the line. Once again, I am not the author of what I speak. I'm just a student. And, a, and, and really a, a proud one of that. I just hope that I pass my class. But let me just um, pass my test here. Let me just say this. Suicide. It means to kill oneself. The reason why I wanted to go into this is because um, I had mentioned the actress who lost her son and then just recently about a day or so ago there was another young lady uh, who I think she was Miss USA and she went up to New York I think she was probably raised in South Carolina or something like that but in any case she went to New York she had the fame, she had the money she had the career going for her and she just Leap out of the 18, I forget, six story, whatever, she leaped to her own death and left a suicide note. Then there are others. You know, these are the people that are, I guess, public figures per se. But then there are others that are in your family. Someone that you know, may have knew, or it could be you and us who are having those suicidal thoughts. So, in my limited knowledge, let's go into it, let's get right into it. So, what is causing these suicidal tendencies? What is causing this? Could it be depression? Yeah, that's one of the causes. And, and what is depression? Could it be anxiety? Could it be stress? Could it be grief? Grief. It could also be poverty. It could also be mental illness. It could also be abuse mentally and or physically. It could be loneliness. It could be isolation that leads to suicide. It could also be overindulgent in eating. Why do you eat so much? Because you're trying to relieve and not think about. Dude, I'm just being honest with you. Some of us use part of eating to remove certain thoughts that we have, certain experiences that we have. So we overindulge in eating, drinking, tobacco, marijuana, we even go with the pipe, cigars. All of this leads to suicide. Now I know you may disagree with me on some of it. It's okay, but we're going to prove our point. Bad relationships can lead to suicide. You have a broken heart. You write this suicide note and you leave it. And, you, and the thing is, when you do these things, you never think, you never have the thought about those who you will affect, the loved ones, that you know of and that you don't know of, but those who you will affect and leave behind. And they have to bear the burden of number one, losing you, then of course, the financial strain or and or cost that might happen. But the main thing is losing you. You don't think of others because it's all about you and your pain. Drugs. Alcohol, food, cigarettes. See, and these 
it gives a chemical reaction. When you take in these things into your body, it causes a chemical reaction that could lead to suicide. Suicidal persons are really dangerous because you think about it, if they'll kill themselves, what do you think they'll do to you? And the thing is, we don't know how to call for help. False pride. We've done something that we are ashamed of. And we don't really, you know, know how to call for help to get us out of it. You might have committed a sin so egregious and so shameful and so hurtful. And so the way you deal with it, you surpass the drugs and everything else, you just commit suicide. Take a gun, boom, jump off the ledge, put some pills in your mouth, drink some poison. It's through, a done deal. Don't have to deal with it no more. Oh, how do we remedy this? Now, I can't give you a remedy in this short period of time. We're just touching on this stuff. How do, how do, how do you leave some of the pain, some of the pressure, some of the depression, the stress? Stress is a lack of duty. So if you face and you have a bill that you're responsible for, like, you know, I need to pay rent. I got my car note. I got this. I got that going on. I got a lot of stuff going on. And you don't reach that particular goal, that produces stress in the brain and throughout the body. It could cause suicide. And have you ever seen these people, these suicide bombers and what they used to call it in Japan, Harry Perry, they'll kill themselves. What causes that? And, and, and we, again, we don't know how to call out or get professional help, so we wind up doing more damage than anything when there are professionals that can deal with your suicide suicidal tendencies and thoughts. But there's a commonality in even drawing up a remedy. When you see these people holding people hostages and, and I'll kill them and kill myself, they send in a team or a person whose expertise and profession is to absolutely talk to them. So it's power in the word. The word is like H2O. Think of it like that. Depending upon the degree that H2O is under, one day it could be gas. One day it could be solid. Another day it can be liquid. And that's how the word is. When it penetrates you, you don't per se see it with the physical eye, but it's like a gas. It hits you. Then it goes into the liquid. Yes, and it goes into the body. And it's like well, it goes into the bloodstream from the mind, makes a circular ambulation right back to the, from the heel, pardon me, from the head to the heel, back to the mind. And then it manifests itself on a physical level. Gas, liquid, solid. So the word or communication is extremely important in preventing or helping prevent suicidal thoughts. Now, you say, well, I don't need a word. I need money. I don't need a word. I just lost a loved one. I, 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 I suffered a breakup. Look, when was it an ever a time, when was there ever a time in your and my lifetime where money wasn't needed? Where a loved one wasn't lost? Where we can avoid a breakup? These things are permanent. It's a word that helps you get over. This is why people go, you know, to uh, their religion or, you know, congregation or what have you to hear a word to inspire them. And in certain, uh, no, yeah, in certain societies, do you know that defamation of character is a crime? Do you know that you could be uh, 
liable for defamation of character? Do you know that? Why? It's character assassination because it's a word. It's something that you put out there. It wasn't some physical harm that you did. It was a word, a thought that you put out there and it manifested on a physical level where it damaged the person. It's a word. And if the same word that hurt you, you can use it to help you. That's my point. So, I wanted to, I mean, just like abuse, emotional abuse, it can, it can hurt you. You can sue for that. Let's close this on now. Think about this. Scientists have said we only use 10% of our brain in our entire lifetime. Some of us use less and we can tell by the way we act. So <laughs> we lost our minds, right? So the thing is, it's a word. Now, if we only use 10%, I, we say that everything, every problem has a solution attached to it. So if you're faced with a problem or difficulty, also in that is the solution. The thing is, we don't use our brain all but 10% of it. And so when we're faced with problems or a burden, we look on the outside for medication and others when absolutely if we look within, we can solve it overnight. But the thing is, we're afraid to look into the mirror. And we haven't dug deep within. You wasn't created and faced with some problems and the creator didn't give you the ability to solve those problems as though he couldn't, your creator couldn't see way down the line that you was going to face a problem. Where, whether you were a teen, 20s or 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, wherever you are, you have the ability and we have the ability to resolve that problem. It comes from within. But if we're using 10%, just imagine if we added an extra 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% usage of our brain, what we could do. Suicide. Uh, this is bad. This is not good. This is not good. But we have the ability to solve it. We gotta go get help. Sometimes it comes from without, and then that person talking to us can cause a reaction within to activate resolution from within, the ability to solve from within. But it has to start from you. It has to start from me. It has to start from within. Overindulging food. Think about this. Not only what we intake in our ears affect us, but what we put in our mind affect us. You go to the store. Do you read? Do you read all the ingredients before you purchase whatever you're purchasing to eat? Do you know what all of it means? Do you actually read it and say, "Oh, I know what this." this, that, and the third? Do you know where it comes from? Do you know where it derives from? What about the foods that, again, that we eat? Do you know the pesticides that they use to protect the vegetation? Do you know the chemical ingredients that is in the uh, pesticides that they use and how, when it meets your body chemistry, how it can affect you to bring up depression and suicidal thoughts? Do you know the science behind that? Even the science behind listening to something can cause a chemical reaction. Remember, it's like H2O. Gas one day, liquid another day, solid another time, depending upon the degree on, under which it's operating. Now, I want to go into the foods, but that's going to be part three. So I hope, thank you for hanging out with me. Hope that we was able to give you something to um, absolutely think about 
and um, you know to work on is just so unfortunate you know I mean thoughts over even we dig I was taught we dig our grave with our teeth and just to see you know me personally I've experienced I've experienced and I've experienced it to see people die loved ones die right before your very eyes slowly you know you won't put the gun to your head or anything but you drink the alcohol you smoke the cigarettes we overeat and it's a slow suicide see a slow over the course of time you begin and we begin to deteriorate by what we intake we have to reverse that so stay tuned for part three because we want to go into what you eat and the ingredients and how it causes a chemical reaction in the brain and throughout the body that causes you and I to have certain thoughts that we never even, we couldn't discern or even recognize why we do the things that we do. Listening to a, a song, you don't realize the effect that it has on you and I. So hey, look, once again, Community Forum, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, please hit the notification bell. Please press like, thumbs up, and share it with someone you know, because I'm sure there's someone that you know that is going through these particular issues and problems. I'm just touching the surface of it as a student, but I'm taking you to the teacher very soon. Thank you. Be safe. Peace. Thank you.